Hello Plaza, Mr. Mo here, and today we are going to learn a little bit about Photoshop. But first, let's talk about pictures, okay? So I am going to um, get onto the internet. Um, so let's say I go up here to the internet and I type in Google. Okay, and now I need to look for a picture. So I'll go to images. And so if I'm wanting to um, edit a photo in Photoshop, I've got these pictures here, right? Here is your guys, the biggest mistake that a lot of you guys make. You will just come here to this picture and you'll be like, okay, I like that one. Right click, save target, and you save the picture. You don't want to do that because what you're doing is you're saving um, a, a tiny picture and sometimes not a picture at all like this is actually going to come in as an html document is what that is going to come in so that would be bad news for you um, what you would want to do is click on the actual picture and then a lot of you do that and then you go here and you go to save this picture okay um, you don't want to do that either you want to go to view image because this is going to give you the biggest possible picture um, and and the best file to work with in Photoshop so then I would right click on it and go to save picture as I would name the picture and put it somewhere okay I don't want that picture I just wanted to show you guys how to save pictures so that you get big full pictures um, in Photoshop now let's go to Photoshop so I'm gonna click down here on the start button okay then I'm gonna go to programs you guys are then going to click on Adobe and then you are going to search for Photoshop here it is you guys are gonna be going to Adobe Photoshop CC 2014 that is the one you want to go to so I click on that and it loads okay so here is my Photoshop um, menu with buttons and, and so forth and today what we are going to learn about is this cool button right here called the spot healing brush now if I wanted to get more options I could hold my mouse on the spot healing brush and I could see that there's just the healing brush the patch tool red eye content aware I mean there's all kinds of different ones but we're just going to deal with the spot healing tool right now um, now with the spot healing tool up here um, is the size of your brush so I can affect the size of it um, and how hard or soft it is um, and we'll show you guys that stuff here in just a second first let me open my file so I'm gonna go here to file open and now I am going to open this picture of this girl who looks quite upset okay so we're gonna open up the the heel brush picture and poor girl is just breaking out here okay she's got a hot date tonight wakes up in the morning and then BAM it's like connect the dots on her face and so we want to help her out we want to fix some of those um, blemishes on her and so that's what we're gonna click over here with the um, spot heel brush and again we can come up here to size I like to keep the mode at normal but we can go here to the size and like I told you we can make this bigger if we want to um, oh my gosh giant zits Ho thankfully her zits are not this large um, we would not want our brush to be that large um, so let's go down to here and maybe we want something right around there 23 19 it doesn't doesn't really matter what you go at we'll leave the hardness at what it is and now it's ready I'm ready to start working with her zits to get rid of them now watch when I um, click on something all I, all I really have to do um, is start clicking on these zits and they disappear right how fantastic is that she is now zitless OMG I'm totally zitless um, and if I want to make my picture bigger like let's say I'm wanting to you know work with this picture a little bit more I can go down here highlight that make it at 200% um, so the picture is gigantic I don't want it that big there's keyboard controls for almost everything I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna tell you all of the keyboard controls um, so you'll just have to live with that now you might see that my circle getting smaller okay I'm showing you a keyboard control now um, I'm using the brackets the brackets will automatically make the brushes bigger or smaller if you're wanting to affect the brush size 
okay um, you can use the spot heel tool for all kinds of things like up here maybe I want to get rid of some of her um, wrinkles right and so I'm going over some of her wrinkles up here and, and getting rid of some of that um, to make her face look a little less wrinkly uh, I mean it's it's crazy some of the stuff you can do and some of the things that you can fix with this tool sometimes if you get too crazy though it doesn't look very good in my opinion um, but we can mess with some of this and try to make her look a little less wrinkly so there she is looking a little less wrinkly now that we've gotten rid of some of these wrinkles flawless skin um, and that is that now the next thing that I would like to show you guys um, is the filter tab up here if you go up here to filter and open up the filter menu there's all kinds of different things that you guys can play with here now I am not going to show you all of these you guys can kinda of mess around with them on your own maybe at home or something to figure out what some of these things do um, but they do some pretty cool things I'm gonna go here to liquify okay and when I go to liquify here again I have gigantor brush so I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller um, here's my brush size here I can affect it over here as well look at that you can't even see it that's how big that is so I'm gonna make it smaller and again I, the brackets are nice for for me to use um, just to be quick with it um, we have some tools over here this is the hand tool just to kind of move things around the push left tool and you can obviously push it right if you want there's the bloat tool um, and there's the pucker tool we're gonna to be working with the bloat tool I just want to show you kind of what this um, does Dr. Ivy not now I'm in the middle of a tutorial um, so I'm gonna make this a little less uh, big I guess and I have the bloat tool and the bloat tool does exactly what it says it does it makes things a little bit bigger okay so if I wanted to puff her lips up here a little bit I can just kinda click on the bloat tool and make her lips um, a little a little more full give her that full look that she's looking for um, and so I can mess around with that you can use this for other things and now up here I'm gonna make her lips look end up looking kinda weird you can definitely screw things up with the bloat tool but it's its intention is to kinda patch things in and make things look um, a little bit better so um, you can use this with like fish like let's say you wanted to make your fish look a little bit bigger um, you could do stuff um, with your fish which is kind of cool um, and, and, and use it to to make things bigger um, here I can just again show you that you can totally do some weird stuff with this um, I'm clicking obviously bloating her eyes now to making her eyes look kind of crazy um, which is nuts and then the opposite tool is the pucker tool um, which this kind of will make things smaller so if you use the pucker tool it's gonna make things a lot smaller so here I'm making her nose kinda like Michael Jackson's nose RIP Michael I miss you um, that is going to be about it when I'm done with that I would click OK okay and now my picture is really jacked up that is all for now I am going to show you guys how to save saving is probably the most important thing since that is how you'll be getting your grade in here so to save a lot of you're like duh you go to file save it's not that easy you go to file save as not just save we want you to name it file save as okay and when you go into file save it at save as the first way you always need to save your picture in our class is as a Photoshop file which is the very top one Photoshop PSD that's what you're gonna save it as you name it whatever you want zit girl something where you're gonna know project one whatever project you're working on so that you will know what it is when we ask you to bring it up um, and so you want to save it as this Photoshop file because you can always go back in and work on it later so if I were to click save I would save it as a Photoshop file and I could get back in here and mess with the picture and maybe fix her to, to look normal rather than having her look all messed up now once you've saved it as a Photoshop file if you want to go in and go to save as and then just save it as a JPEG like a normal picture that you could send to other people or whatever um, or you know just have on your desktop and it won't open in Photoshop maybe someone doesn't have Photoshop and you want them to see your picture you could um, save it as a JPEG as well so that is it for today until next time